Hello, my friends, and welcome to this exploration of uh, how to pronounce the English with a French accent or how to sound French. Number one, the resting position. So we will start with the position of the mouth. Mais ça va pas, non? The mouth, the, la, la, la bouche, je n'en parle pas la souris. <laughs> Sorry, right. So the position, the position of the mouth. Uh, the rest position for the French mouse involves the rounded lips. No, lips, lips, les lèvres. Sorry. Um, the, so the rest position of the French mouse uh, involves rounded lips uh, with uh, the inner lip rounding, which means that the lips are uh, protruding, protruding. Uh. This is heard uh, in hesitation noises. So when you are thinking uh, like that, uh, and you can tell uh, when um, we, from photographs of resting French people that the mouse is often in this shape. There we go. So something else you may have heard is the TH sounds in English. We do not have this in French. This is totally uh, unnecessary for a language. So we pronounce in English, not like the Dutch people do with the T and the D, but in French, the TH sound is pronounced with the, oh, in French English, uh, the TH sound is pronounced S or Z. So uh, 30,000 feathers on the thrush's throat. Number two, vowels. Vowels in French are pronounced at the extremity of the mouth. So, uh, for example, um, e, 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 uh, which is comparable to the English e, e. The English is much more, is, is a little further back and a little more away from the roots of the mouth. So when you say the French sound, e, 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 there is almost some friction, almost a sh, sh, sh. Sound. And you can hear this when French people say, oh, oui. All the vowels are like this. So the ou, ou, ou is very far back. Not like the, not like the English ou, ou. No, ou, ou, ou. I, e, e, a, a, o, o, ou, e. Also, in French, there are no diphthongs. Uh, this means that the, when you are pronouncing a vowel, the tongue does not move. So, in English, for example, uh, oh, oh, non. In French, or in the franglais, in French English, oh, 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 means uh, water in French. So, you can say, my home. John throws bones for Fido. In the same way, uh, in English, there is this, this uh, diphthong A, A, no, uh, we say A, 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 the tongue does not move. So, uh, bake me a cake. Another uh, important vowel in French is the sound E, uh, which in a French word you can hear in words like uh, earth. You can use this in English for all of those strange sounds that uh, English speakers make with, spelt with the letter U. You, you, uh, like cup, pub, match, etc. Number three, the air sound. The letter R, which I believe uh, in English you, pronounce, you call uh, A, A. In French, this means. A, the first letter of the alphabet. So R as in run, rabbit run. Um, there are different pronunciations in French according to the position in, in the world. So uh, one pronunciation is the, they're all in the back of the mouth. So R, R, R. One pronunciation is this rolling R, which uh, tends to be used in, in emphatic situations. Um, when you are saying something uh, important or dramatically. Friends, Romans, countrymen. Normally, it is more of a 
just the tongue moving close to the very back of the mouth, the woggler, the, uh, the uvulum. So, ah, 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 like this. Ran, rabbit, ran. After a voiceless consonant, the R becomes more uh, friction. So, so, for example, try, trifle, triumph. It, is big, it loses its voice. Number four, dental consonants. The, the sounds T and D, L, N. In French, are made with the tip of the tongue against the top teeth. So you can hear this in, in top teeth. The tongue touches the teeth. Not in, in I think with English accent, it much further back, so ta 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 ta. No, with a French accent, it's ta 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 ta, and without this little puff of air. So I hope you have enjoyed this brief exposition of uh, the pronunciation of English with a French accent. And maybe if you are learning French, even imitating the accent in your own language can help you acquire a better pronunciation when you are speaking French. I hope so. Uh, merci d'avoir regardé cette vidéo et à la prochaine. Well, I hope you like that. Please check out this video next and I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care.